Hey everyone, Jefferson Santos here, author of the book, Higher Life Design. And today we're talking about episode three of the bout with self-doubt. And did you know that success and the way you look at success can actually silence that self-doubt. And in the definition of success, I mean, we all have our own definitions and this leads us on our path, whether you know it or not. And your definition could kind of hold you back in some way or actually, your definition could actually make you feel like a failure. And you know, in this episode, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find out how to look at the subject of success differently so you can set yourself up for success and, and discuss the fine line between success and failure because set up success definitions that will actually um, you know, help you attain the goal set before you. And so here's what John Wooden said, one of the greatest coaches in the world. He said, success is peace of mind, which is a direct result of self-satisfaction, knowing that you did your best and become the best that you're capable of becoming. And you know, here's how I used to define success. It was money and possessions, because that's all I knew. And you know, when I changed my definition, I was able to deal with my self-doubt a lot easier because I wasn't getting those things as fast as I thought I would get them. And I was able to create a successful business uh, and achieve my goals eventually, you know, once I changed that definition. And so defining success could totally change your life. And so, you know, Richard Branson, for example, loves life, no matter what he's doing. And he frames his business around that frame of mind. I mean, here's what he said. He said, the more you're actively and practically engaged, the more successful that you're gonna feel. That's what he said. So what is success? I mean, here's what the dictionary says. The favorable or prosperous achievement of one's goals, the accomplishment of purpose. And so what is success? I mean, most people see success as you know, a destination, you know, the possessions, the money, but that only kind of fulfills you so much. We must learn to like enjoy the actual process of it or what we could call the actual journey of it, you know, so to speak. And, and looking at success from different angles, I mean, defining success is an individual process. It's your process. But right now, your definition of success might be too attainable. It, it, what I mean by that is, is it might be something that's maybe not fitting with your lifestyle and, and maybe your habits. And start shifting from you know, a results mindset to an, a process mindset. And that was one thing that made a big shift for me, you know, really focusing on the process and the journey part. And so, so let's determine what your definition of success could be. You know, write down your definition on a piece of paper. I think there's one thing that, that happens when you take that pen and you start writing, I mean, just, just, it starts to flow through you and that's what helps, you know, for me. And so what you wanna do now is now transform your definition of success into something that seems more doable for you. You know, you could come back as, as, you know, to your definition as often as you want. You could change it, you can adjust it. And I'm not, right now, I'm not telling you to lower your goals. I'm not saying that. I'm not telling you to lower your achievements. I'm just saying you need to define your definition, not somebody left and right, not somebody you see on Facebook with all this stuff. What's your definition of success? I mean, you might need to pause the video right now and write that down if you feel compelled to, or you can wait until the end of the video in, in a couple of minutes. So if you can learn to define success in a way that seems more doable for you, then you can cope easier with that self-doubt when it comes to executing your plans. Because see, that's the thing that's gonna happen. I mean, that self-doubt, that voice is gonna creep in and it always happens. It happens to me as well, but I've learned how to silence that thing. And I think by, by really getting your definition kind of lined up, you're gonna feel more inner peace in yourself and silence that self-doubt voice in your head. And so uh, here's what Maya Angelou said. She said, success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking you doing it. You know, so here's what we gotta do. Here's some action steps. Step number one, write down your biggest goal right now. All right, you can pause the video, you can write it right now, or you can wait. Step number two, break it down into smaller bits, smaller chunks, chunk it up. I mean, Tony Robbins talked about this many, many years ago. I mean, that's one of the best things to do. If you've got a, a thousand mile driving road trip, break it up into 250 mile chunks or 100 mile chunks and stop off and get a snack or bathroom break. I mean, do what you have to do. You know, we always say that the journey of a thousand miles starts with the first step. You have to chunk it up, right? Step number three, think about how you can make those chunks simpler to achieve. Think about that and put, see this is, everybody wants to win, but not everybody is willing to prepare to win. This is the kind of work that you need to do on yourself. And a lot of us don't realize it's, it is a lot of work. See, a lot of people are 10 year overnight successes, 30 year overnight successes, okay? Hope you're reading into that. Step number four, write down daily action steps. Here's what you wanna ask yourself a question. What daily habits or routines that you need to stop doing 
or start doing that's gonna get you closer to your goals and closer to those action steps that you need to take every single day to get those those chunks or those bits to achieve to eventually achieve those goals. That's what you really need to ask yourself, those questions right there. And step number five, follow these steps and enjoy the journey, enjoy the process. Most of our life is gonna be in the process of aiming and achieving because like when you achieve something, that actually just takes a second to achieve it, right? Which means as we achieve stuff, if you add up everything that you've achieved in your entire life, it might be two weeks of your entire life, but most of your life, 99.9% .9 of it is the actual doing of the thing and the achieving. So we have to find a way in our definition of success to enjoy that process. All right, so what is your new definition of success? Um, I'd love to hear it. Please comment below in the comments on this video, and I'm sure a lot of other people that are watching this video would love to hear your definition of success. It's a chance for you to inspire others uh, in their new definitions as they're grabbing and writing for their new definition of success. Be persistent with the action steps in our self-doubt series, and your life will literally change forever. So stay tuned for the next video where we're gonna go over the importance of working on your self-efficacy. What that self-efficacy is the ability for you to achieve and to believe in yourself to be able to do those things that you know how to do. And so until next time, I look forward to helping you arrive at your next intended destination, healthy, wealthy, and happy.